Hi friends, this is Mundan Dagavan. Today the topic is Python inheritance. It is one of the main concept in OOPS. Agenda of this video, inheritance introduction. It is for the people who don't know about the inheritance at all. And next one, single inheritance, multiple inheritance, multi-level inheritance, hybrid inheritance, and method resolution order. Among these topics, the multiple inheritance is a special feature of a Python and we will see in detail about that. And next one is hybrid inheritance and the method resolution order. First one, inheritance introduction. Inheritance is the main feature in object-oriented programming as we discussed. A class uses the existing class features is known as inheritance. In a single word, you can tell reusability of the code. The basic syntax of inheritance in Python is parent class and the parent class body will be there in child class in bracket or parenthesis we will mention the parent class which we want to inherit inheritance types so as we know the basic types so we can see one by one single a class a class b so class a is the parent class b inherits the properties and the features of class a it is a single inheritance because we have only one level if we have multiple levels, let's say class A was inherited by B and class B inherited by C. So that will be the multi-level inheritance. And the main feature about Python, multiple inheritance. So the class B inherits from A, B, C, all three classes. So inheritance, if you consider for just say hybrid inheritance, so that will be the combination of any or all of our inheritance are called as hybrid inheritance. So in a Inheritance, if you have all these are some of the combinations of above this, so that will be called as the hybrid inheritance. So just a code snippet on your right side. So class A, so it has one print statement and one function or method, which does not have any implementation. So we have the special keyword in Python pass. It is like a dummy implementation. The same way we have the class B, but it inherits from the A class and it has same print and method. The same way in class C, we have the inheritance from B and we have the simple one method and one print statement. But if you consider the class D, it's the example for multiple inheritance. So the class D inherits from A, B, and C. So if you consider only the class A and class B, it is a single level inheritance. And if you see the class A, class B, class C, it will be the multiple inheritance, sorry, multi-level inheritance. And if you consider the class D, it is the multiple inheritance. Next one, Python uses multiple inheritance that we saw just now. Method resolution order defines the class search path used by the Python to search for the right method to use in classes having multi-inheritance. So let's say if you have only single inheritance or multi-level inheritance, that's easy to find the method resolution because if it is a single or multi-level, so if method is not available in the child class, it will be checked in the parent immediate parent class. If it is not there, it will be the next immediate parent class. So it goes on. But in case of multiple inheritance and hybrid inheritance, it's very essential to know about the method resolution order. So a simple way to understand method resolution order is if you use one method from the class or the object, so where it has to find, whether it has to find in the child class or parent class or the same subordinate classes. So like that we need to find. So for example, if you see the first snapshot on your left side, it has the class A and it has the method wish and class B has the same method wish and class C also it has the same method and class D also having the same method, but class D inherits from A, B, C. So which is multi inheritance. I am creating the object for the D class and I'm just to want to call the method wish. So first preference go to the current class. So it will take from the class D. So in next snapshot, I am just removing the implementation of wish method from the class D. Then I am calling the wish method. So it will check in the current class. It's not there. Then it will go to the same order which we mentioned in the D class. So in the D class, we mentioned class A as the first and class B as the second and class C at the third. So 
the method resolution order the method finding will be going in the same order so since we don't have the implementation for wish method in the d class the first order is a so it will try from a class and it will display the class a the same way if you remove the implementation from the class a also the second order is b class so it will get from the b next one if you remove from the c class also sorry if you remove from the b class also then it will look for the d class then a class it's not there and b class it's not there then it will go for the c class it finds the implementation for the wish method then it takes from the class c let's say you don't have implementation neither of d nor a nor b nor c then it won't go anywhere it will just try to go to the very higher level class which is object class the parent class of all the classes so even the object class will not have any implementation like for wish method so it will give an error like the object d object has no attribute wish in the object class so method resolution order so how to see the method resolution order for the given method let's say if you have multiple inheritance so the simple example what we saw so it's a straight forward we can easily identify but in case of hybrid inheritance which has the multi level and as well as the multiple and as well as the single level or hierarchical level so in that case it is not possible to find the method resolution order very easily and however the method resolution order internally uses the c3 algorithm which is a different case we need to go through the different way to understand that but however for end user i don't want to do this algorithms checking or i don't want to do the manipulation for just to find the my method how it get resolved so for that we have the predefined variable or predefined method in our python so just the syntax is class name dot underscore underscore mro underscore underscore or class name dot mro open parenthesis and close parenthesis so if we execute that method or class sorry the method or the variable name then you will find the method resolution order for instance if you see the evidence so the last line shows print d dot underscore underscore mro underscore underscore so it means that from the d class how the method will be resolved i want to know so in that case it shows the result at the bottom so it tells that class main method sorry main keyword dot d so it you will just ignore that main as of now so we will consider that class d is the first one then class e and class b and class c if not there then it will be the class object so this is the simple understanding about method resolution order so if you still want to know how it really internally works in case of hybrid inheritance so just go through the c3 algorithm so thanks all thanks for watching have a nice day